Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you who I think the Habs need to select fifth overall. In case you missed it last night, they had the draft lottery and the Habs did in fact get the fifth overall spot. Not too bad, really wanted that first or second, but fifth is a lot better than dropping to sixth or seventh. Anyways, if you do wonder why I sound a little weird, it is because Friday I got all four of my wisdom teeth removed, so I'm still kind of recovering, you know. I'm only on like day five right now, starving, you know, really craving foods, but that's okay. I'm here today to tell you who I think the Habs need to select with that fifth overall. So let's get right into it. Right off the bat, we know that Connor Bedard and Adam Fantilli, they're going one, two, or at least one and three, worst case scenario. These guys are not up for discussion, okay? They're just not going to be available at five. But after that, it's a little bit of a toss-up because I'm not exactly sure what the other organizations are prioritizing. If they want centers, wingers, all of that. I'm kind of just focusing on the Habs. So after Fantilli and Bedard, I'm not sure who's going next. You know, some team might swing high for Mitchkov. Some team might go for Smith, Carlson. You know, the list goes on and on. Maybe even Dvorsky at this point. You know, a lot of people are saying he's top five out of nowhere, so I don't really know. But I'm going to list you the players that I think the Habs need to take a look at if they fall to our lap at number five. So I have four players that I'd be targeting. Two of them I think might be gone before five, and then two of them I believe will still be there. So for the two players that I think will probably be gone, it's going to have to be Will Smith and Leo Carlson. Both of these guys have been in the top like eight all season long. Leo Carlson's been in my top four for the whole season. Will Smith with his U18 tournament has really boosted his stock to the point where I think he might even go top three. Like he might pass Carlson. People might select him third overall. You never know. But again, they might also fall to fifth. There's really no telling what's going to happen until draft day. But these are the two guys that if they're available, I'm taking them before anybody else. Unless obviously Fantilli or Bedard, but we're saying those guys are not going to be there. So Will Smith, Leo Carlson, if they somehow appear at that fifth overall, those are the guys I'm taking a shot at right away. Now the next two are players that I am pretty confident will be there. I am very confident they're going to be there. I'm also pretty confident that I don't think that Kent Hughes and the team are going to select them. And those guys are Matt Vimichkov and Zach Benson. Now, to me, these are some of the most skilled players in this draft. They're both a little short, which kind of sucks because GMs kind of turn away from players that aren't at least six foot. But to me, that doesn't really matter. Matt Vimichkov is still the second most talented player in this draft. And Zach Benson, to me, has been in the top eight all year long. He kind of reminds me of a mini Goodrow, maybe a bit of a Braden Point. He uses his size well. Matt Vimichkov, his size does not stop him. He's put up the best KHL numbers since Alex Ovechkin. And honestly, if you're Kent Hughes, I don't see where you could go wrong with Will Smith, Leo Carlson, Matt Vimichkov, or Zach Benson. Now, before you guys come at me, I know all the things that have to do with Matt Vimichkov. I know there's uncertainty. And I'm going to make another video on why I would select him. But for today's video, you know, my jaw's kind of hurting. It's enough talking for me. And you know what? Those four guys are who I'm looking to select at that fifth overall. If we leave this draft with either Will Smith, Leo Carlson, Matt Vimichkov, or Zach Benson, I'm a happy man. I will not complain. I don't want any of this Dvorsky. I don't want any of this Rhinebacker. I want one of those four guys, and I think that would make a very nice addition to this roster. Anyways, guys, that is going to be all for today's short video. Let me know down in the comments who you would select fifth overall. And yeah, if you did enjoy, don't be afraid to hit that like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Now, with that being said, I'll see you all next time. Take care.